The U.S. Air Force wants to connect various platforms, such as F-22 and F-35 stealth warplanes, while on the battlefield the spacecraft, or in other words, stealth fighter jets and super-secret spacecraft can someday share information, reports Military.com. That is the concept put forward by Air Force Chief of Staff General David Goldfein. He was interested in seeing how the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, F-22 Raptor and X-37 spacecraft can talk to each other. When you see something like X-37 or F-35 or F-22, when we improve the connection and we show a strong and reliable level of interoperability, we will then be able to develop what it means in terms of creating an effect on the enemy," said Brig. General David Kumashiro, Director of Integration of the Air Force's Joint Deputy Chief of Staff for Strategy, Integration and Office Requirements. He spoke at the Defense One Outlook event in Washington, D.C. Connecting the X-37B to a fighter will show the ability to operate from all domains, Kumashiro said. That includes sharing information during war missions. He refused when asked what type of X-37 charger sensor would be used so that the F-22 and F-35 could be connected. Preston Dunlap, Air Force's chief architect serving the office of the Assistant Secretary for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics, announced at Defense One that next month a service will test how the F-35 and F-22 can exchange battle room information after years of mismatch. This effort is part of the Department of Defense's larger goal of getting information to the Army, Navy, Air Force and Marines faster and raising situational awareness for all its users. The Air Force is also looking to start something called the Omnia One, a unifying interface that shows operators not only to aircraft such as Joint Air Operations Centers but can also be displayed on warships and other located equipment. Inserting something remotely is not a new concept, Kumashiro said, it's like an operator sitting at an Earth station in Nevada and controlling an MQ-9 Reaper that flies in the Middle East. But the Ministry of Defense needs to expand its ability to transfer real information quickly across geographical areas, Dunlap said. The idea is to see images for space and air and land surface and cyberspace, he said, comparing applications with something similar to FlightAware or Uber. You can see the picture, you can click on the ship, see where the ship is, where the ship is sailing, what is on the ship, and we have to be able to deliver it to our warriors in an accessible and flexible way, Dunlap said the service hopes to include other tools in the Omnia One interface next month. The initiative gives the Air Force the chance to modernize, he added. We want people to make smart choices wherever they are, Dunlap said. The F-22 Raptor is a stealth fighter made in the United States. The aircraft was originally planned to be used as an air superiority fighter for use against Soviet Union warplanes. But it was also equipped with equipment for ground attacks, electronic warfare, and intelligence signals. This aircraft went through a long development period. The prototype version was given the name YF-22, three years before it was officially used was given the name F-A-22, and finally given the name F-22A when it officially began to be used in December 2005. Lockheed Martin Aeronautics is a contractor major responsible for producing most of the fuselage, weaponry, and F-22 assembly. Then its partner, Boeing Integrated Defense Systems manufactures wings, avionics equipment, and pilot training and maintenance. The F-35 Lightning is the result of the development of the X-35 aircraft in the Joint Strike Fighter program. This aircraft is a single-seat, single-engine supersonic fighter that can perform many functions, including air-to-air -air combat, melee air support and tactical bombing. The development of this aircraft was funded by the United States, United Kingdom and several other countries. The F-35 Lightning or Joint Strike Fighter is a fifth-generation fighter, a joint production of Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman and Bay Systems. This super-sophisticated aircraft has stealth capability, it won't be seen on the opponent's radar. The amount of weaponry and ammunition he could carry was even more stout compared to previous generation warplanes, such as the F-16 and F-18. 
F-35 Lightning II is a sophisticated aircraft that is able to dodge the opponent's radar. This aircraft is the result of the development of the X-35 aircraft in the Joint Strike Fighter Program. This aircraft is a single-seat, single-engine fighter aircraft, which can perform many functions, including dogfight, close air support, surface attack and tactical bombing. The F-35 Lightning JSF looks like a modern jet fighter, but what makes this jet special is the software and the ability to collect intelligence. JSF is also a spy plane in the sky. This aircraft can gather information from outer space, land and other aircraft, and then send it to commanders on land. Pilots have a God's eye during war. By pressing a button, a camera below will start working, which functions to see the whole aircraft. When flying, this jet knows how to fly better than the best Harrier pilots. Pilots are not preoccupied with driving so they can focus more on fighting. The development of this aircraft was funded by the United States, United Kingdom and several other countries. The demonstration aircraft first flew in 2000, and the first production version flew on December 15, 2006. Steve Long, was the first RAF pilot to drive the one-seat jet. Boeing X-37, also known as Orbital Test Vehicle OTV, is a reusable robot spacecraft. It is pushed into space by a launch vehicle, then re-enters Earth's atmosphere and lands as a spaceship. The X-37 is operated by the United States Air Force for orbital space missions that are intended to demonstrate reusable space technology. This is a 120% derivative from the previous Boeing X-40. The X-37 began as a NASA project in 1999, before being transferred to the U.S. Department of Defense, in 2004. His first flight was during a drop test in 2006. X-37 has completed five orbit missions. The first space plane mission, USA-212, was launched in April 2010 and returned to Earth in December 2010. The second X-37 was launched at the USA-226 mission in March 2011 and returned in June 2012. The third mission is USA-240, which was launched in December 2012 and landed in October 2014. The fourth mission, USA-261, was launched in May 2015 and landed in May 2017. The fifth and newest X-37 mission, USA-277, was launched on 7 September 2017, and was the longest X-37 mission to at present, landed on October 27, 2019 after 780 days in orbit. In 1999, NASA selected for Boeing Integrated Defense Systems to design and develop an orbital vehicle, which was built by the California branch of the Phantom Works Boeing. Over a four-year period, a total of $192 million was spent on the project with NASA contributing $109 million, the U.S. Air Force $16 million, and Boeing $67 million. In late 2002, a new $301 million contract was awarded to Boeing as part of NASA's Space Launch Initiative framework. The X-37's aerodynamic design comes from the larger Space Shuttle Orbiter. Therefore the X-37 has a similar lift-to-drag ratio, and lower crossing range at higher altitudes and number of engines compared to the DARPA hypersonic technology vehicle. Initial requirements for the spacecraft called for Delta V missions totaling 7,000 miles per hour 3.1 kilometers per second for orbital maneuvers. The initial goal for this program was for X-37 to meet with satellites and make improvements. The X-37 was originally designed to be taken into orbit in the Space Shuttle cargo space, but underwent a redesign to be launched on Delta IV or a comparable rocket after it was decided that shuttle flights would be uneconomical. X-37 was transferred from NASA to the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, on September 13, 2004. After that, the program became a secret project. DARPA promotes the X-37 as part of an independent space policy pursued by the United States Department of Defense.